Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and I think this may be the final look of my 55 gallon aquarium without it planted. I have a flugel stratum, I'm going to get some plants, and then I'm going to do a remake, a complete remake, and plant this aquarium. I'm having fun with my 10 gallon, and I really think that the 55 is, um, I'm ready for it. So please stay tuned. Yesterday it was time to do a water change on this aquarium. This is my 55 gallon. I have been told it's an odd shape for a 55, as most often you see them in the longer dimensions. This aquarium is 24 inches high, 18 inches deep, and 36 inches wide. I really love this shape, as it's got such awesome potential for scaping. I have been putting off doing the water change on this aquarium because there were things I needed to get ready in my little fish room to accommodate the changes I had planned on making. Once I had things moved around, I took my five emerald green quarry cats and moved them into an open 10 gallon aquarium I had in my fish room. I want to see if they will breed for me, so this is another experiment, if you will. I also moved another pair of zebra daniels into an open 10-gallon tank as well, because I hope they breed again. The baby daniel fry are doing great. I thought with the extra room, I could do it again. Zebra daniels are dirt cheap here, usually selling for 99 cents a piece. Well, at that price, there's no point in selling them. I will add a group to my 55 gallon, this tank here, once it's planted, and the remaining Daniels I'll probably use as feeder fish. The reclusive little spotted Raphael catfish that I affectionately call Fat Cat is now with Rafi in the 150 gallon. I never see him in this aquarium except on water change days, and that's only because I remove a lot of the decor. So I thought if I move him in with Rafi, the giant Raphael catfish, maybe he will get the desire to swim around the open tank like Rafi does. Looking at this tank now, I could use a little more stock. Hubby thinks more sharks would be good. I'm still thinking about another schooler, maybe rummy nose tetras. But you know, at this point, I have four sharks in here. That's one rainbow, two albino rainbow, and a roseline shark. I also have two albino cory cats and a panda cory, half a dozen of each Daniels, scissor tail rasbora, and lamp eye tetras, two cynodonis catfish, and of course, Rufus. So looking at that stock list, it does sound like that's enough. But I have to remember I have lots of Daniels up in my little fish room that will need to be coming down here at some point. So I may just have to hold off on buying any more stock and see where I am once the Daniels enter the tank. In the stock list, I forgot to mention I do have a couple bristle nose. Um, plecos in here and I'm really hoping that they will breed. I'm going to get them a little breeding cave and once it's planted we'll see how they do. I am really excited about making this a planted tank. I will use the same pieces of wood and of course my awesome hardscape but the fake plants will go and the substrate will be switched out for fluval stratum. I'm not sure I have enough. I bought two eight kilogram bags, so if it's not enough or deep enough, I may cap it with black sand. Now, I would really love to hear your advice and suggestions on that because as I said, this is like virgin territory for me. 
I really wanted to use the stump that I have soaking in the basement, but it's still not ready, so I won't be using it in here. With the height of this tank, I really need some pieces of wood that are taller. I may have to go on a hunt for some more driftwood. I do have a piece outside that my son picked up for me at the beach last summer, and it's ready to be used. I plan on attaching the Anubias to the wood like I did in the geotank. I really love how that turned out. For now, I do like this tank and the community seems to mesh well. So until I get everything I need for the redo, plants included, I will just enjoy it as it is. I'm always open for suggestions and advice as I am a newbie with planted tanks, but just keep in mind I want low tech, easy peasy. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.